J Drone here. Today is very bright out. There's not a cloud in the sky. And we have our Baoming's Flip King with the black AVX camera and the paper towel in between the body of the drone and the camera and wrapped around the sides, all with Velcro. Just like we had for the past two tests, this is the third test. Extreme sun, and we actually have some wind here. We have a uh, eight mile an hour wind blowing to the right, and that's why you see me kind of tilting to the left trying to compensate. And even with that wind and trying to compensate, we're getting very, very little jello here. Uh, I mean, right now you have a little slight wave in it when we're down throttling and trying to fight it. It's almost not noticeable, but I'm looking for it. So that's why I'm pointing it out. I want a very accurate test here. Our prior tests have been uh, in fairly dim to less dim to extreme bright now. And I'd say it's a success for probably a penny or even half of a penny. Go to your kitchen, take a piece of paper towel, fold it up nicely into like a long rectangle, and then fold it over again, and then just wrap it around the camera and Velcro it to the body of the drone. It's going to damper out so much of the vibration. I mean, we have a lot of vibration today, and you're barely seeing it in this video footage. This is, I'm flying in your second speed setting. I'm also fighting wind. We're, fi we're flying directly into the wind now. So this quadcopter has lots of vibration on it, and you're not seeing it during the video footage here. So the next test that we're going to do is with the Tarantula X6. I'm not going to do it today, just because I want a windless day to get a very accurate... Uh, test on whether we're going to have jello or not without the wind's interference. I mean, I have the interference of the wind here, and you can see the video footage. It's pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and set this down. I like to catch it, but uh, this wind is making it hard for me to catch. I did bring it back towards myself. I thought about catching it, but it was easier to set it down. And you can see I'm flying pretty fast forward which also creates a lot of vibration on these toy quadcopters. We're not getting jello here, guys. This is very simple modification that you can do. Everybody can do. I'm sure everybody that's watching this has paper towels. If you don't have paper towels, I'm sure toilet paper would work. You probably have to double up on it. And there's me. Uh, you can see I'm not flying steady. I'm kind of zooming around, making hard turns, yawing it quickly. And again, we have very little jello here, guys. If this was a zero wind day, I'd say we probably would have absolutely no jello. And again, bouncing up and down is not jello. When you have waves like you would in the water on the screen in the footage, that's jello. It bouncing around, that's only be, to be expected when the quadcopter literally is shifting. And there, if you just seen it for like a half a second when we were down throttling, we had just the slightest little wave through the footage. So 99% of the jello has been canceled out on this windy, extremely bright day. This is definitely a success. And we're going to try to catch us here. Come on. Wind is not cooperating. Here we go. And now we're just going to set it down. Have a good day.